All right, so here's my review of The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This is the one over here. Um, I received this from Barnes & Noble themselves. I had it shipped over uh, to Poland, where I'm currently living, um, from Barnes & Noble from, from America. And unfortunately, it came quite badly damaged. Now, Barnes & Noble are very good. They've got a... a, a, a great policy where if your book arrives damaged you can just send it back but I actually waited a whole month for this to arrive to arrive and um and um yeah i i'm just hoping that i'm going to be able to fix it somehow I, i'm not exactly sure how right now but it, it's it just seems like a like a massive um waste of money to, <laughs> to get it shipped back and then to uh, and I'm kind of impatient anyway. Um, I like to to have my stuff uh, <laughs> uh, quicker than than uh, within two months of of ordering it. Um, uh, anyway, uh, let's let's have a, a quick look at it. Um, it's a little bit more embossed than a lot of the other Barnes and Noble leather bound editions that I've that I've got. Um, it's a really, really nice work on the leather there uh, with the little bobbles and um, every single element on that cover is, is nicely embossed. The, um, the white that you're seeing here is kind of a silver actually. Um, the yellow that you're seeing of course is gold. Um, and I suppose the um, sorry, let me get that. Uh, there we go. I suppose this this darker brown would is is a, is a paint. Although it's you can't really tell that it's a paint. It just looks like a different color of leather. Is is that well done? Very very nice detail all over this cover here. Yeah. I saw the old. Uh, edition of Sherlock Holmes, the complete Sherlock Holmes, and as as lovely as that was, I think this one is nicer, especially um, especially the side. I really like the way this this keyhole looks on the side. It looks great on the shelf. Um, the the older edition had um, uh, the Hound of the Baskervilles on the side, which also looked very striking. I just I just really like this intriguing kind of um, keyhole and of course the key is uh, this a, yeah a little a little bit more damage there I guess it's too late now anyway I, I kind of ripped it open when I when I received it I don't think I could I could send it back now even if I wanted to anyway so the key for the keyhole is right here on the back and it's just a beautiful book and of course when you receive yours it won't be damaged uh, it will be in perfect condition uh, and uh, you will have been forewarned that if it's not in perfect condition you can just not rip the cellophane off and uh, and send it back if you are more patient than I am so there you go so that's uh, that's the outside on the inside there's a very nice intricate pattern um, uh, which involves, well, some aspects of uh, some of the stories uh, that um, that feature inside. Um, there we are. Yes, again. Yes, it's not ideal. It's not what I would have chosen, uh, but. Uh, it's it's uh, it's my own silly fault. Oh well. Here are the contents. You can make sure that you've got the particular stories you're after.
And there we are. And so there's a little introduction. Let's see. Introduction. There's some nice detail there next to the page number. Some of those um, front cover. Well, some of the yeah the the symbols that we found on the on the cover. So this is how each individual book uh, is printed. It's very, very nice font, very clear. Lovely detail. Okay, and there are no illustrations, uh, but that's something you already knew. Okay, yes, the edge, I uh, can't remember if I show, show you that, it's, uh, it's in gold. Occasional diagram, of course, if uh, um, if that was something that uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle decided to add. All right. What do we have in the back? Facebook of Sherlock Holmes till page 1077. There's one blank page. And we're back to the back cover. All right. The uh, bookmark on this one, the, the ribbon. Let me try and find it. There we go. Is the same nice golden color as uh, the one that's on the Shakespeare edition. And once again, it looks fantastic on the shelf alongside the other Barnes & Noble leather bound editions. Okay, take care.